Hey, Lincoln Math teachers. Some of you are super pumped to know that we have digital access to pre-created math centers that you can print off for your math differentiation rotations to use during your math core. So I wanna show you where you can access those and show you just a brief introduction to how to navigate those resources. I have put them into our shared drive. Um, we do have permissions from Grantwood because every teacher gets a license. So they said we can put it in our shared drive. It'll be owned by the school, but you cannot share it outside of our district. So as you can see, I went to Lincoln Certified Math. Um, there's gonna be a folder called Math Centers, Teaching Resources, and they are all going to be located here. They are PDF files. Um, if you're using it through Grantwood online resources, you're going to scroll through these different um, resources and it's called the K5 math right here. Um, and then it'll actually bring you to a Google drive. So these were created by Grantwood people and we now have the rights to use them in our classroom. So you'll see for your grade level, there's gonna be two different options. You can have math centers. Those will be more like games or activities that are student friendly. Um, and I'll show you an example of a few of those. And then there will also be math journals. We'll talk more about math journals in year three of Math Academy, but those are gonna be just like um, a word problem that the kids can work through collaboratively in a station if you choose to do that. So I'm gonna show you a third grade math center, what that looks like. When you open up your grade, you're going to see that every math center, if you scroll down, you can sort, you can look at it by standard. So some teams are talking about spiraling. You might decide that you wanna put some of the things you're going to teach or previously taught into a math rotation. You can look at it by standard and then it'll take you to the page for that math activity. So that's the table of contents. Um, I'll go ahead and scroll to a couple examples. Uh, let's see. So let's say you're wanting to do this math center. This is what you would print off for the students to read. It is supposed to be for, uh, it's supposed to be student friendly. These are the materials that will be listed. Those will sometimes be in the following pages on the digital document. Um, so for this one, it has different cards that they lay out. And other times you might see, it might say like dice or different things that you might have, uh, popsicle sticks, etc. But those will be listed here so you know what to put into the center. And then the steps are here. So those are um, the math centers. The math journals. Uh, the math journals are gonna look a little bit different. Um, it'll take you through a bunch of like how to use math journals, but the parts that we want to, that I would recommend focusing on if you decide to use this, sorry, are going to be right here. You can see that there's going to be the standard and then this is the math journal task. So uh, just a reminder, math journals is just going to be like a written word problem, but um, the facilitation of discussion with partners or in a group or with a whole group is kind of the, the purpose of the implementation. But if you want to use it as a center, um, you can certainly go here and find some to put up uh, in your math centers as well. So I know that was quick, but I just wanted you to know again, if it's you're wanting to access those, those are in the shared drive. Go to Lincoln Certified, Math, Math Centers and Journals from Grantwood AEA, and that's where you're gonna find those printable resources for you. So super pumped about this. Let me know if you have questions or if you want to try some of these things and implement them in your classroom. I'm so happy to help you. Thank you.